Hey guys, um, I was kind of bored today this morning and I got to thinking I wanted to do some painting. And <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> after going around and looking for guns and ammo and stuff like that, I went to the Hobby Lobby and I got some paint and some thinner and some brushes and I decided I'm going to try and paint my slide on my Glock. Not the whole thing, you'll see what I'm talking about. And just some other accessories. Oh, that reminds me. Let me grab one of them. Oh. So, I've, I've done some model cars in my past. <clears throat> Nothing too spectacular. Just a few Camaros and an S10 truck. <laughs> I like my S10 trucks. And I figured, you know, I was pretty good at painting them and why not try painting my Glock or my Beretta, which I haven't done my Beretta yet because I wanted to test on the Glock first. So, basically I'm going to show you how I paint my uh, my guns. I tested it out on, on my uh, magazine first. As you can see right there, the 40 is in green. And then the Glock logo in Austria is also in green. I wanted to test it out on uh, something small, something I didn't really care that much about. Just in case it, you know, ruined it. I didn't want to ruin my my uh, slide for my gun. So I tested on that. That was in the green that I got. And then I also tested it on the this AR mag. Which, the front didn't turn out too good. But the deep numbers, those ones turned out pretty good. Uh, I also tested it out on my K-bar, which one side turned out good because I, I did it right. Painted it white, obviously. And then the other side was kind of, I rushed it, so it wasn't too great. But, neat little flare. It'll be tough to see if I can do this behind a camera. So, this is what my slide looks like currently. I did a little bit to test it on the slide. You can see the 40, and then the 27 Gen 4. Those are in green. I like that look. I like the green because it's not bright, but it's... Yeah, it looks good. So I think I'm going to do the Austria and then the Big G. And I'll kind of show you how to do that. might be from afar because I don't know how close I can get into it with the zoom. Yeah, we'll see. Um, basically what you want to get is you want to get the thinner tester paint thinner this is stuff that you can find at most hobby stores near the uh, model cars I got I think this is just a flat white I don't remember what it says where the damn number is on it yeah white I got yellow because I thought it'd be kind of neon-y. This is actually called... I can't even read it. It's so small in here. Zinc Chromate. And that's... That is what you saw on the AR mag. And then the last color I got was flat green. So those are the colors I got. Um, I did end up buying these paint brushes that I'm not going to use because I didn't know how well this other item was going to be or how other, well these would work and those worked really well. But normally you can use these paint brushes. It wouldn't really matter. Those were actually like $3.98 for those three brushes. So I could have returned them but I had already ripped them open for some reason. I don't know. Um, what I did find is that these brushes work really well. Their size super fine, precise application applications. Micro brush, cost a buck ninety nine, and you get like what eight of them, ten of them. Sorry, I can't. I was guessing. I didn't see it right there. So you get ten, and this is what they look like. They have just a tiny, tiny little tip on them. I get that a lot. So there's that. And uh, 
yeah basically what I did was I dumped a little bit of the uh, thinner into my actual container of of uh, paint because I wanted it to be thin not pasty so it would penetrate the little tiny crevices that are in your slide so shake it up a little bit obviously you're gonna have to remove the cap take your brush I like this package of brushes too because I don't like mixing my colors so you know I've got one for the yellow one for the white one for the green and all I did was I took dipped it in not usually that much but it's hard to control when I'm trying to do a camera angle too and then you just want to put it on there um, you can get it over the slide I mean it's not going to be per you want it to be on the whole god damn it my dog is trying to jump on the bed and he can't since he's gimpy um, but you want to cover the whole area that you're doing and then you're going to want to let it dry doing the same thing for the Austria Obviously, the more paint you use, the longer it's going to take to dry. So, try and not use. I used quite a bit here, so this will take a little bit to dry. So, when that dries, I'll come back to you. All right, dudes, I let that uh, dry on there pretty good. It's a little bit wet, but not too bad. So then, the next step is to take. I'm using these cotton patches for gun cleaning which if you have a gun I'm assuming you have these with you as well or if you don't you can find them at Walmart um, so yeah I take two patches fold them into a square take some of your thinner and you don't need to douse the whole thing you just want to get some on there Cover that back up so you don't knock it over. And then all you do is you take the wet part and you just do it slowly and gently. You don't need to really push. I don't think I got enough thinner on here. Yeah, I need more thinner. Um, but you don't want to push too hard because then you'll end up wiping the crap that's in the that's in the hole in the grooves that you're trying to keep the paint in you'll be wiping that out so let's try that again this time more thinner oh yeah much better you just do it slowly until you see it starting to come off of the the heavy spots Same thing over here. Okay, it looks like I got most of the, the thick thickness off, or the, the thick splotches of it. So I just take the back side and I'm just really barely wiping and kind of a kind of a hook you know kind of like a, a reverse J pattern that way you don't wipe out what's in there by just going straight across if you kind of you know hook it and whatnot you do you get you, you don't get in the grooves and you always do everything pretty lightly so that you don't yeah wipe everything out as you can see it's it's looks like it's taken the finish off that's just the thinner on the slide I'll take my rag once this completely dries and I'll wipe it down which the rag I have is just one of these clean bore silicone gun cloths so it'll just basically it'll recondition it and it'll make it look all purdy 
I want to do this to my AR, but I don't know what colors to use. Since I'm going to have the... Uh... God damn it. When I turned my camera off, it turned off the macro. So, But anyways, once this dries for another 10-15 minutes, then I will uh, show you what it looks like. I also did do the rest of my magazine. You probably should unload it, but, you know, what's the big deal? You don't really have to have an unloaded mag if you're just going to be painting it. Not like the bolts are going to get pissed that you're painting it and jump off the, or jump out at you. But same problem, or premise here, you just gently wipe. I don't know. It's just something that'll kind of set your gun apart. And if you're bored and broke and you don't really want to go spend a bunch of money on other accessories, then, you know, you can dress your gun up like this. Even though I went out, me and a friend of mine today, we went out gun hunting and uh, found some potential, potential places to go now to find guns and ammo. And then when I'd gotten home from our little excursion, another one of my friends called me and said that one of the local stores had 9mm, and she had just bought a 9mm pistol, and she's never been able to shoot it because she can't find the ammo for it. So she uh, asked me if I would go over there because they were limiting people to two boxes per, which is, you know, that's fine. They want to make sure everybody gets some ammo, and I, I'm fine with that. So we went over there, and they actually had some American Eagle 223. So I bought two boxes of that and two boxes of nine, and she bought two boxes of nine and two boxes of this. So I got me... I got me 80 rounds of AR ammo, which goes good with another 100 rounds of 40 that I got at Walmart, which goes even better with another 40 rounds of 762 by 39 that I got at Walmart. And then I did have a friend who went to Walmart and got me another three boxes of the 762 which I have yet to pick up from him. So I had a pretty good little weekend ammo hunting. And I, I, I'm kind of weird. I chart all the ammo that I get in the month. And for my four, actually I have five calibers. I have 9 mil, 40 cal, or 40 Smith & Wesson, 7.62 by 39, 223, and 7.62 by 54R. Out of all those, I've gotten over, I'm sitting at probably... 1100 rounds since the beginning of the year so the ammo's out there you just have to go and look for it and you know help friends out and they'll help you out you know tell them that they've got ammo if they're looking for ammo and ask them if they'll pick you up some did you see that i just wiped paint all over my desk because i'm a flipping idiot <laughs> oh well, it comes off but yeah I don't know. I bet this is dry enough. I can run that that clean bore cloth over it, make it look all pretty again. I should probably cap off that so I don't knock it over. Always a good idea to cap things that you're not using, just because if you drop something, it might hit it, and that's just stupid. So, actually, I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna put it on macro and show you the finished product too. All right, got it turned on macro, so hopefully this will show up better. So here's the the clean bore bro, or a towel. And you can see the difference right there. There's a line and it's kind of pale. Just a few swipes. Well, should probably wait a little bit cuz I don't think I have all the paint off, but And 
and she's good as new. Kind of like the, the look of that. So I'm going to put her back together. And show you all the finished product. I think that looks pretty neat. Haven't done anything to this side. Doubt I will, but. I think it looks pretty sweet. I wasn't sure if that green was gonna be the right color, but it looks like it is. And I am thoroughly satisfied. And the magazine came out pretty good too. Anyways, that's just one way you can, you know, personalize and dress up your firearms. I'll probably do it to my AR and then show you guys what I do. I just have to de decide what kind of colors I want on that thing. So yeah, thanks for watching and if you have any ideas on how to make this easier or cleaner or whatever let me know because you know that's what we're here for helping each other out so thanks again guys